the previous video already we have seen the um, basic uh, concepts of demand paging uh, so when your process is to be swapped in the pager or the lazy swapper it guesses the needed pages so before your process is loaded it guesses how many pages are needed so based on that instead of swapping the whole process only it will load the needed pages so that will be loaded into the main memory this avoids reading into memory pages that will not be used anyway so decreasing the swap time as well as uh, amount of physical memory needed is also ne reduced to distinguish between pages in memory and the pages in this the hardware support is needed it is nothing but valid invalid bit scheme so valid what is that so this is a page table here page 0 say for like this is uh, index is page page numbers page 0 is present in which frame so uh, page 0 is present in which frame and then uh, whether it is present in the main memory or not this is the page table so in the page table you have one more extra bit called valid invalid bit so if it is v then it is indicating as v it says that it is present in the memory i means it is not in the memory so this is the this bit is said to be valid invalid bit using this when a page is accessed it will be checked with this bit whether this particular uh, it is available in this this frame in the main memory so frame relates to the main memory so whenever a, a new page is brought into the main memory it will be placed in the frame and then that respective frame number will be updated in the page table so when it is updated which means it is present when it is not in the frame that frame number itself is may not be there and this bit is uh, will be i initially all the bits will be i because the user process is not loaded into the memory so initially it will be all it will be an invalid bit then uh, after loading one page by one uh, after loading one page and after another page into the main memory as frame respective frame those frames numbers will be updated in the page table and this valid bit invalid invalid bit is changed to valid because it now it is present in the main memory so it is changed to b indicating it is present so it is a valid so during address translation if valid invalid bit in page table entry is i then it means page fault which means if it is not present then uh, the operating system demand that page the i means it is not present in the main memory now the operating system demands the secondary storage and then the pager that is a lazy swapper it swaps in the, res, uh, the respective page from the secondary storage and it will be loaded into the frame in main memory it is loaded into a free frame and that information is updated and then this will be made as c saying that now it is available but anyway since it is not present by indicate this can be indicated by i now the operating system send an interrupt and an IO device is initialized. The IO transfer is initialized. Now this uh, pager, which is responsible for swapping from the secondary storage to main memory, the, uh, it takes its process. So now let us take whatever I have said. I just explain it pictorially. Let us consider this is a logical memory. Uh, this is a whole logical memory. Seven pages are there. Okay. But here, all the seven pages are not in the main memory this may be occupied by some other process so only three free frames are available and in these three frames the data uh, the respective uh, pages are placed so for example zero the zeroth page is placed in fourth frame that is this okay and now the valid bit is made to b now one b this page for this there is no space so it is not it is made as i the invalid now it is not present in the main frame main memory that's the meaning but it is present in the secondary storage see a b c d a. all these things are present in the secondary storage but here 
uh, in utter so logical address space which is nothing but the user address space which is nothing but the whole thing is available where it is a logical address space but it is not present in the main memory so now to the page 2 it is placed in the sixth frame and it is available 3 is not there 4 is not there and then yes 5 page 5 is present and it is placed at 9 okay now here also it indicates that v is it is made as v which says that it is present in the main memory now after the execution of the page 0 now if it is going to execute the page 1 because that is the continuous logical address so when the next page is demanded now it checks uh, first before going through uh, if always the through the page table only the mapping is formed to physical address so in that case here it finds a bit as i that is invalid now it know that it is not present in the main memory so at the operating system demands the secondary storage to load it so now the b b is loaded uh, b is uh, swapped in into the free memory because the operating system keeps a pool of free frames so it takes it searches that and our one particular uh, frame will be maybe this or this or this whatever it is that will be loaded and the here the frame number so if the b is loaded in zero then in one the, the value is updated to be zero and this is made as b and when it finds an i that is invalid now since the operating system uh, demands the secondary study that is an io has to be carried over so an interrupt occurs whenever there is an io process and any memory reading then it can be done through interrupts so now that is said to be a page fault page fault is the page is not in the main memory so we call it as a page fault if the process try to access a page that was not brought into the memory causes the invalid access which results in the page fault. The paging hardware in translating the address through the page table is the paging hardware from the logical address space it is converted into the physical address. How it is done? It is through the page table only. That is what we have seen in the previous paging algorithms and all, paging and all. So the paging hardware in translating the address through the page table will notice the invalid bit and causes the trap to OS. Trap is nothing but error. It is nothing but again an intro. So a trap to OS. Initially, no page will be in memory. Initially, here this also will not be there. A, C, F, everything will not be there. The whole thing, only the logical address space there, it is no, no one page is not in the main memory. So here all these things will be I. The page table for this will be made as I. So initially, no page will be in memory. When the operating system sets the instruction pointer to the first instruction of the process, let us consider this is the first page, in this the first instruction. When the operating system points to the first instruction, then what happens? Which is a non memory decision. Now it is not in the memory. The process immediately falls for the page. Immediately it falls for the page because that page is not in the main memory. So now it has to be brought into the main memory. That is, there is a reference to the page, but the first reference to the page will trap to the operating system because it is not there. So that is said to be the page fault. So operating system looks at another table called PCB. Already you have studied about the program control blocks where the when uh, control transfers from execution to memory or when a process is uh, moving from the ready state to waiting state after then all those things we keep a program control block where uh, the temporary register value or uh, stack register all these values program counter values all those things will be entered in a kept in a pcb so the operating system looks at another table called pcb to decide valid reference whether it is referring that only or if the page not belong to this process for example one user process and another process as well as os if that user process is accessing another user process page then which is not at all its logical address space. This is the logical address space. If there is another user process is also residing in main memory, then 
it will refer whether it is accessing that or not in that case uh, then uh, if there is an invalid reference if that one user is accessing another which is called as invalid reference so our system memory also that is operating system space also in that case that uh, that operation will be aborted then another one if it is not in memory also the operating system looks at the pcb because in program control block what are all the temporary registers uh, when a page fault takes place then what is the current position of the pointer because now it has to be loaded from the main memory by the time the cpu will carry over the other user process so this has to be loaded from the say for example this b b is not present it has to be loaded into the main memory it will transfer the job to the io that is swapper swapper will do the swapping so while it is swapping now the cpu will not sit idle when the data transfer takes place the cpu will not idle it will uh, it will take other user process uh, and it look into it. that user process page table and start executing because the resource for all those things for that particular page may be particular user process may be available so it start executing by the time it loads into that and it waits okay it will be moved to the ready queue this page will be moved to queue ready queue uh, so when it transfers when the cpu move from this to another that is called context switch when one process to another process by the time what are all the informations that is temporary register uh, meant for this particular process will be stored in a pcb that is program control block then after that when this uh, b is available this b is available in main memory that will be indicated that it will be indicated by this process to the operating system now the oper again by an interrupt the operate now the cpu uh, uh, looked into this table and because of this v is present now it start executing the next page so uh, so when it is not present when it is to be loaded from this how it is done already i told you get an empty frame get it in from a free frame list operating system free a free frame list so into that this will be loaded then swap page from the disk into the frame that particular empty frame the data the page will be loaded from the secondary storage then reset respective table which is nothing but update the page table as valid invalid bit so this will be made after loading this will be made as valid bit invalid all those things can be done then restart the instruction that caused the page flood again this because now the page is there so now it will indicate the user process will indicate the cpu that now it is available in the main memory now the cpu after completing whatever job it is doing then it listen it comes to the uh, this page and it start executing now the process can access the page as though it had always been in the memory so there will be since the uh, speed is very fast the user will not feel that that the particular page is loaded from the main memory into the uh, from the secondary storage into the main memory so after all the pages are brought into the memory the process continues to execute without any page fault once all the pages are loaded there will be no need for page fault the whole process executes this game is said to be a pure demand paging so these are all the steps involved so first uh, when an instruction is for a user process is done then uh, here see reference is made now it is an invalid that particular page is not in the main memory so invalid bit now what happens it is trapped to the operating system the operating system now what it will do it will check the backing backs that is secondary storage backing storage setting by the secondary storage so from this that particular it checks in the free frame that is in the physical memory that particular data that particular this will be this also will be equal to the free frame size now we call it as a block when it is in the user uh, logical address space we call it as a page when it is in main memory we call it as a frame when it is in the secondary storage we call it as a block all are of the equal size so this block is brought into the uh, main memory where a particular free frame is free then that data is uploaded updated in the page table and this i is uh, made to v that is it says that it is now available in the main memory so reset the page table then again restart the uh, place where it has stopped because now here it has stopped 
if it is brought into the main memory only it can be executed so for that only a page fault takes place and then the particular block uh, is uh, loaded into the main memory which is uh, may, where the page table gets the update and now it again is so, so that now when it is executing that particular it says that it is available in the main memory so hardware support for demand paging page table that just now we have seen page table is valid invalid bit then secondary memory is a swap device since the OS saves everything, the demand paging has the ability to restart any instruction after a page fault. Since the operating system, when a page fault takes place, what is the position before that? All those things are saved in a PCB. So at any point of time, the operating system is able to regain because it is able to reload from PCB and then again, it starts wherever it has stopped, it is able to restart. It is not that the whole process is sorted because the temporary values are stored. Those things are placed in the respective registers again. And again, it starts wherever. So for example, in a 10 line of code, if the process stopped at fifth line, a page fault takes place. Uh, again, the four lines are not executed. It regained re regain the process execution from the fifth line only. So the OS is able to restart the process exactly the same place and style except that the desired page is now in memory and is accessible only thing is now that desired page is in memory previously it was not there that is why a page fault takes place now it is available and then the process runs for example let us see this code example consider a three address instruction adding a value of a and b and store the result in c that is the value a and b are added the registers the values in the registers a and b are added and it is stored, the value is stored in C. The result is stored in A. So the steps involved are fetch and decode the instruction. So let us say add B. Okay, add B means the value in B register is added with the accumulator A. So what you have to do? Fetch A, fetch B, add A and B, then after adding, store the sum in C. These are all the instructions. Let us imagine the page fault occurs at step 5. See, all these things are done. Add A, F, 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 A is fetched, B is fetched, then these two are added. But if the page fault takes place at this point of time, what will happen? Then everything has to be done again. In this case, there is no other way. Everything has to be done again. The whole process has to be done again. Suppose, another example, when a page fault takes place, when a sorting takes place, in which the source and destination are the same, what will happen? So for example, sorting takes place where uh, source is the same and destination. The algorithm acts in such a way that it will overwrite the respective array or respective memory location. Then what happens? It will when it is stopped, when a page fault takes place in the middle, middle of the execution of that sorting, then it will lose the value. Everything has to be done again. The whole program has to be executed again. So what is the solution for this? That is what we have to keep the temporary value in a temporary register. So solution is to keep overwritten values in a temporary register. If there is a page fault, all the whole values are written. So if anything happens in sorting, in the middle of the sorting, you have to keep a old value. That is the unsorted values, the original array or original memory location in a, some temporary registers. So when when the sorting takes place and when the overwriting takes place and the page fault takes place, what happens? So what happens? Again, the whole, instead of uh, the whole, uh, because we should not lose the original value in order to do that properly. So it will be taken from the uh, temporary registers and again it will be loaded. So if there is a page fault, all the word values are written back into memory before the trap occurs. This restores old situation and once the page fault is over the instruction can be repeated again 